and we are back with just a little bit of a fill-in haul. We had to run to the store and grab a couple of things. So this is kind of going to be all over the place. So just pardon us for that. Um, we went to Walmart, and uh, the chef ran into the Dollar Tree real quick. I'll go ahead and do the Dollar Tree first. If you yeah, want. we've got a couple of recipes coming up in the near future. Not sure when, but we went ahead and got a couple of things for that. So what he got from the Dollar Tree was a bottle of Heinz 57 steak sauce. For a buck. That's yeah, cheap. That's a, it's really cheap for a dollar. This is the best lemon pepper I've found so far. They had one case left the other day when we went back today they only had like four left so i grabbed two of them yeah kingsford lemon pepper he likes that a lot and i always buy their brand of yeah in a bottle of worcestershire sauce and then the one thing i didn't get put on the table oh never seen this before it was the last one they had in the case red lobster seafood seasoning tastes pretty good i took yeah I tasted it it's we both good. tasted it and it's really really good yeah. so we're anxious to try that in the near future too yes, we are Okay, so let's get started. Um, found some ground beef that, or ground chuck that was marked down. Um, looks like it was uh, 2.25 pounds for 6.22. So we got that. Um, the chef got a chicken for our dogs. Usually we get them at Sam's anymore because Sam's has a lot better chickens, but we went ahead and grabbed one from there. Yeah, we weren't going to make it there for yeah. a year or two. So. We got some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese slices. We got a bag of iceberg salad mix. While we're talking about that, you can get this for 97 cents at our Walmart, that size bag. But if you want a bag of just shredded lettuce, no, not salad mix, it's $1.77 or $1.78. I don't get it. You, you're getting... Yeah, just for shredded iceberg. Yeah, just shredded iceberg lettuce. Admittedly, this has got cabbage and carrots in it, but still, a dollar, you know, almost a dollar difference. Yeah, kind of crazy, the prices that they have sometimes. And we grabbed a couple of Christmas things you're going to see in here. My brother, he eats a lot of peppermint because it's good on his stomach. He has a history of stomach ulcers. Um, plus, I use these, which I didn't really this time... Um, for Christmas and that, but we use a lot of peppermint, and they had these big peppermint sticks for eleven cents, and no, they no, no. five cents. Oh, I'm sorry, five cents. They were ninety. Cents. And if you can see the expiration so, date, I don't know if it they, it says you can uh, see it or not, but it doesn't yeah. expire until 2022 or 23. Yeah. October 2022. Yeah, Best Buy October of 2022. So I snagged like twenty of them. Yeah, so we grabbed a few of those. We got an 18 count of eggs and we always burn a couple of candles at Christmas time for our two dogs that passed away. They were both born, they were both born at Christmas. Oh, Gabe was born on Christmas Day. So we always um, burn a little candle. So we got a couple of candles to replace the ones um, that we used this year. So we're just going to put those in our tote um, for Christmas. So we already have those. And we grabbed a bunch of dog foods again, some more pedigree and some more Caesars. Um, grab some gain laundry soap and gain fabric softener. Gain is my very favorite. We really like that. Mm -hmm. um, got some hubby, some more drink mixes. He likes this orange blast from Walmart. Um, he mixes it with other orange flavors in his water. Um, we got some of the energy grape. Um, we got a bang, um, the sour heads bang because, well, Penguin likes those a lot. We got some no sugar added peaches. Those are really good. The Del Monte brand. And they have the least amount of carbs of all the no sugar added peaches that we've seen. Yeah, like 20 carbs for the whole can. Yeah, 20 carbs for the whole can. We got some onion powder and some garlic powder. That's our <laughs> Even though we have a few stars around, Chef found this star right here that was battery operated. And it was on clearance also. How much did you give for it? Uh, 90% like, off. Uh, I think it was like a dollar something. I can't remember. It was 12 bucks. So it was 90% off. Yeah, 10 cents. It would have been a dollar 20. And yeah. It's, it's, and it's battery operated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, next, battery operated. Next year, I think I'm going to take a full size tree and put outside. So, um, anyway, moving on, we grabbed a couple of Valentine's Day tablecloths. Point down, maybe yeah. One. one we have right here. This we grabbed that one right there. I'm going to use it for a background. Yeah. And let's see what else we got here. Sorry, like I said, it's all over the place. 
Um, we found some candied pineapples because we not only use this during Christmas time, but we also use it at other times, especially during the summer. Um, so we got this. I think this was like 50, 57 cents. Something. It was like 57 or 58 cents for... A lot of the, well, lot for this of the holiday fruit. A lot of the Walmart stuff today said 75% off, but when it rang up, it was 90% off. And it doesn't expire until July, so we've got plenty of time to use that. And I had to get some more. This is the powder that I always use. I've always used CoverGirl um, because CoverGirl has Noxzema in their products. And I, I never had to... I was one of the lucky ones that never had to suffer with acne outbreaks or anything and whether that had anything to do with it or not or it was just my hormones I don't know but I've always until this day I still use CoverGirl foundation and CoverGirl powder um, 150 creamy beige is what I use for my powder and I think 145 is what I use for my foundation and because I have bad eyes I went ahead and I'm always on my phone I got a thing of these blue light readers to kind of help when I'm on the phone um, since I am on it so much, kind of help preserve my eyes a little bit. Yeah, you can buy you can yeah. buy these cheap glasses. These are better glasses, but you can buy cheap ones like these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, a I, lot of people buy Dollar Tree glasses, but I bought her a couple of three pairs. She had, she's known for breaking them. Yeah, I do, but the Walmart ones seem to be a lot more sturdy, and they withstand a lot more because I've sat on them, laid on them, dropped them. I try to keep a pair in our vehicles. I keep a pair in the other in the living room. Oh, yeah, a pair that, in the kitchen. At one time, I found that pair of the tinted ones that were readers. Yeah, I've got a pair of sunglasses that are also readers. They were pretty cool. Anyway, the chef found some more uh, Christmas cards, so he got these. These were 90% off too, I think. Yeah, like 30 cents a box. Something 29, like that. 29, cents 29 or 30 cents a box for 32 cards. So he got two boxes of those. We really didn't need them, but. Um, we got some, what's comparable to Velveeta cheese. I like this one right here. To me, it's just as good. Yeah, it's a couple bucks cheaper. If not better than Velveeta cheese. And I think this is like four twelve, and Velveeta is almost $7 yeah. for a two pound block. So. Um, we also got a pound of hickory smoked bacon. We got some assorted sweet rolls. They're strawberry cream cheese and apple. We got those. We got some bananas. A couple of cans of crescent rolls. Um, we got some crunchy Cheetos for a recipe that we're going to have coming up in the near future. Well, you're going to love that recipe, too. Well, we hope everybody likes it. Not everybody likes everything, but it's one that we hope you guys are going to like. It's one that... Comfort food. Yeah, it's a comfort food, and it's one that we made on our own. So, um, we got some sugar-free vanilla pudding. Um, Hubby is a big Karate Kid fan. Actually, we both are. We like Karate Kid. So, he's been wanting this Cobra Kai. So, we went ahead and got Cobra Kai Seasons 1 and 2. Well... On, on Amazon and eBay, they were the same price as I paid there, but there's no shipping and handling, so makes yeah. sense. It was just cheaper to buy it at Walmart. Um, we needed a new calendar, so we got a Star Wars calendar. Um, I got a bag of my sour cream and cheddar snaps. Um, we got some paper towel. And this is just another few finds that we've got right here. Okay, we got some more name tags. And they were $1.48 and 90% off. So we gave like less than 10 cents, I think, for these. Yeah. That good? It was like very, very cheap. Uh, uh, they were like 14 cents. 14 cents? Okay. Yeah. Well, well my mind's not calculating right now. Thanks for that. Wal thank God for that Walmart scanner thing on the phone so we can check stuff. Yeah. Again, if you guys have that Walmart app on your phone, please try to use your scanner that you have on your phone so that you can find out how much things cost because. A lot of times they're cheaper than what they're marked. So we got two of these. And then Pootie for his Halloween costume. Everybody last year really loved his little lumberjack outfit. And they had pet costumes right now. Regularly $10. You see that? $10. They had them on clearance for a dollar. They had so many different costumes out there. Um, they didn't have that many that would fit him. But we went ahead and got the lumberjack one because it was just super cute. It has a little axe and everything. And the beard. Yeah, and the beard. It goes with his mustache. So we went ahead and got that. And then uh, we also got these. Now, this is kind of like people say, well, what are you buying these for? Because Christmas is over and they're not going to be any good. Well, actually, they are. 
I'll probably use them before Christmas, but there was a method to my madness because a lot of the things that are in here, I can go ahead and use the cookie mix for Valentine's Day or anything, but I can keep the decorations and use them for Christmas next year, or I should say this year if I want to. Expiration date on these, and I know I saw it somewhere. Yeah, they don't address. expire until 2022. Yeah, August of 2022. Yeah. All of them. August of 2022 is when they expire. Um, this one right here, we gave like 60 cents. Uh, I'd have to look at the receipt. It was 49 or 50 cents. Hubby said 49 or 50 cents is what we gave for these with the clearance on them. But it includes a sweater cookie cutter. So I do not have a sweater cookie cutter. That's one that I don't have. So I figured, why not? I mean, I can get this cheaper than I can actually buy the cutter, plus I get everything else that goes with it, too, for 60 cents. Yeah, save everything else for Christmas. So we got we got a couple of those, and we got a couple of these um, holiday swirl uh, sugar cookie kits. We can use these to give away, too, um, like some of the, the needy that we did, like, this year. Right. You make 24 cookies, and yeah. those were cheaper. Those were only, like, 90% uh, off, and I think they were... Yeah, these were cheaper because they like didn't 30, have the cookie like cutters. 30 cents, I think. Yeah. 29 or 30. 29 or 30 cents for a box of this. That's Makes like 24 cookies. So we went ahead and got a couple of those. Again, they don't expire until 2022. And we got some brownie mix, the holiday ornament brownie kits. So they include the brownie mix, icing pouch, um, winter wonderland sprinkle mix, white icing pen, and ornament cutter. So again, we're getting a cookie cutter and it only cost us like 49 or 50 cents. Yeah. So we ended up getting three boxes of those. And then uh, Chef found some penguin bags. So he went and got ahead and got a few of these. Yeah, those, those were I think four. Out. Yeah, that's yeah. only four of those they had left. They were not, them ones came up 90% off too. So they were. Uh, They're regularly $1.92. Like 18 cents or 19 yeah. cents. 18 or 19 cents for those. And then we found this little sign that we thought was so cute for Valentine's Day. It says, kissing booth, open or closed. It was just really cute. We both liked it, so we ended up grabbing that. And because we do like to play tic-tac-toe, we just got us a little heart and heart and cross board uh -huh. for us to play tic-tac-toe with. And it's cute. Yeah, plus it's cute for decoration and that. So that is about it for this haul, I think. Um, yeah. Is that it, babe? Yeah. Yeah, we've got some good recipes coming up in the near future. Um, I don't know if we're going to be posting every day like we did during Vlogmas. I doubt it. Um, it'll probably be like every other day. It just depends on how our day goes. And what we're doing. And what we're doing, yes. We've got a lot of recipes to share, a lot of things we want to do. So we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. We've got a couple of recipes that we still want to make that a couple of people have asked about. So we'll get those taken care of also. And... Uh, we between the chef's mother who's going to be 90 this month yeah. her birthday's coming up she's going to be 90 but between all of the recipes that they had and the restaurant from the restaurant and all the recipes that i have from my great grandmother my grandmother and my mom we have tons of recipes that we can share along the lines that we hope you guys would enjoy yeah and i, I got one on how i season my steaks and and put them in the freezer. How you can make a cheaper take taste better and be more tender if anybody's interested. Yeah, the chef has um he was gonna give just a little how he seasons his steak. So if you take a cheaper cut of steak that might normally be tough, he was gonna kind of show you how he goes through it and seasons it up to where it's tender and it'll end up like restaurant quality. You guys will really enjoy that one. So anyway, that's it for tonight. I think we've showed everything. Yeah. So we're gonna go. We haven't had dinner yet, so we're still gonna do that. And um, we do have a recipe that we're getting ready to post up. So you guys will be seeing that before you'll see this. Yeah. So you guys have a great night and we will see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.